so in this section i will discuss about the fringe width uh, that is denoted by beta the distance between any two consecutive bright or dark fringes is called the fringe width if you see here this one is the red color and that denote basically the bright fringe second one is this blue color again the bright fringe the distance between these two is the beta and similarly true is for these two consecutive fringes and same is true for this one so beta is the fringe width whether you consider the constructive bright or dark fringes basically the distance is the uh, fringe width so what are the supporting concept here to find out this derivation for the beta that is the fringe width number 1 is the superposition principle basic idea the formula of the pythagoras theorem and the idea of constructive and destructive interference fringes for the constructive interference uh, what are the values that time and uh, these three concept physical concept to derive the idea so let us see the same experiment as uh, we have seen into the young's double slit experiment this is a monochromatic source s that is basically a laser light source that light basically travels toward this s1 slit is this one and this is the s2 slit so these two slit basically acts like a secondary source represented by s1 s2 the distance between them is a small d and uh, this is the center point between the two slits so if we increases it uh, the this o basically at the center point on this is particular screen and half of that basically the distance of the s1 slit s1 from the center point obviously that will be d by 2 and same will be true for the lower one this slit s2 so d by 2 d by 2 so total distance is uh, d as we have mentioned already and here this is the center point so suppose these two light ray s1 p and s2 p meets at the point p whether that is the constructive type interference or destructive type of interference so we will see that thing uh, later but at the point p these two light ray joins and uh, we will apply superimposition principle here the distance of p point where these two light ray joins uh, from the center point o is x this distance is x you know this distance is d by 2 so if we have to find out the distance pa that will be x minus d by 2 and uh, this is the b point the lower is this slit s2 and this point p if we have to find out this distance pb then we will add d by 2 into the x and then it will be x plus d by 2 this distance between the slits and the screen is capital d this is a small d sometimes we call it grating element also the distance between the two slits so what is the purpose of this diagram the purpose is we have to find out the path difference right between these two light ray s1 p and s2 p so for that what we do we just try a perpendicular on it s2 p from the s1 and uh, as a result we are drawing this is the perpendicular so this distance is the path difference so how to find out this suppose this is the k point and this is s2 p so s k s2 k is the path difference between these two light rays so uh, subtract s s1 p from the s2 p so our aim is just to find out it by using this geometrical structure here if you see carefully that uh, there is a triangle s1 ap this is first triangle second triangle is s2 b and this p this is second triangle so uh, we have to use pythagoras theorem here so by using the pythagoras theorem you know that s2 p square will be equal to the s2 b and b p square 
right s to b whole square plus b p whole square and similarly for the triangle one so that you can see here s to p square is equal to s to b square plus b p square and s to b is this distance that is equal to d and from b to p that is x plus d by 2 so we are writing that values in this particular equation so by putting the value d square plus x plus d by 2 is square from the pythagoras theorem and similarly if we have to find out this distance s1 p then this will be s1 a whole square and this a point end up to the p point so equation will be like this so by putting the value and here now the a p distance will be x minus d by 2 so we have put that value now after simplification now what we are doing we are just subtracting s1 p square this second one equation from the first one and as a result after simplification of this equation we are getting this result 2xd so s2 p square minus s1 p square that can be written as a square minus b square is equal to a minus b a plus b so this is a minus b and a plus b so we have to find out this factor so we are putting this term with the right hand side so here we have put this value on the right hand side and here what we did we just assume that p point where interference basically take place lies very close to the central point that is the o and in reality this is very small distance as compared to the d so we can say that s1 p is very close to the s2 p and this time this will be equal to the d that is the distance between the screen and the slits now at this particular point where we are getting the path difference between the two waves is this then for the constructive interference we know that path difference is equal to n lambda this condition is well known so by this way we put this path difference equal to the n lambda and solve it for the x so x is equal to n lambda d upon d for the constructive interference you can see here and if you put value n is equal to 0 we will get x is equal to 0 it means the x is equal to 0 that means o central point and central point is maximum point right so this center is maximum here you will get the bright point with this condition so now n is equal to 1 in this equation put here 1 n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 then these values of x are this one l lambda d by d 2 lambda 3 lambda d by d and now find out the difference between the consecutive differences path differences so x3 minus x2 x2 minus x1 when we uh, solve it for the differences between the two consecutive path differences it, this comes x2 minus x1 is equal to lambda d upon a small d and same is true for this one so both are equal so the differences are equal so the distance between any two consecutive bright fringes is common that means if i measure the distance between this maxima and this second one the distance between this and the distance between this one this bright this is also bright this is also bright so two consecutive one and second the distance between them is the beta that is the fringe width and in case of constructive interference that is constant so you can say here fringe width is equal to lambda d upon small d now if suppose at p point what happens destructive interference take place then the path difference this x d upon d will be equal to 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2 this is the condition of destructive interference for the path difference so now we are putting this value together and solving it for the x that is equal to 2 n plus 1 lambda d upon 2 d and when we put th the value of n here n is equal to 0 means the first one n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 n is equal to 4 these are the number of fringes 
so we get this order of x naught prime x1 prime x2 prime x3 prime x3 prime we have used purposely because uh, prime denote the destructive interference so the difference between the two consecutive dark fringes you can say that x1 minus x0 or x2 minus x1 or x3 minus x2 prime so we are taking the difference between the x2 prime minus x1 x3 prime minus x2 and that is lambda d upon d as we have seen in case of the bright fringes lambda d upon d at the constructive interference so it means uh, whether you consider the bright consecutive fringes or the dark one the difference basically remain constant so we find that the alternatively bright and dark fringes are formed on the screen on either side of o which are equally spaced so this is the o point at which we get the central maxima this is the first uh, second one third one right fourth one so if we go further upwards so the distance between the first and second this one the distance between this one the distance between this is the fringe width beta and this is constant for all the cases whether you consider the dark fringes or bright fringes thanks for watching this video you can visit such lecture at www.apniphysics.com